you give a little bit extra effort for your friends. It wouldn't surprise me in the least if they dropped an amazing time in this semifinal because they can do it. They've got the personnel to do it with reasonably safe passes. There are the lane assignments with Texas in lane six. LSU does have the number three time in the country this year. They are in this heat. Those are the favorites to move through. The last time LSU won the championship was in 2018 when Aaliyah Hobbs anchored the Tigers. Shakari Richardson in 2019 when she broke the NCAA record right here in this track. LSU was only second. But high expectations for this Texas women's team, and it really is all about this sprint core. This four by one team, 100 meters, 200. If they can get it done, the Texas women Longhorns have a really good shot of winning the national title. And of course they have great support here being at home. Home stretch grandstand starting to fill in now that the meet's underway. The sun's down. Texas in six, LSU in seven. And Julian Alfred has already almost made up the stagger on LSU. Now it comes down to the passes. They've got a nice lead. Baylor trying to make a race out of it down in lane four, but look at how far ahead the Longhorns are. Not the greatest pass, but safe. Keep an eye on that clock. 41-89, the national record. Close for second between LSU and Baylor. Looks like LSU is going to get it. And it's a new collegiate record <laughs> once again. Flash time, 41-54. Corrected to 55, so they improved it by 45 hundredths of a second, 44 hundredths of a second. Not surprising.